Hello there, I'm Paul, I'm the owner of the Ivy Mount Guest House and I'm going to show you how to get to room number 5. So this is Half Edge Lane, this is the road you'll probably be driving up or arriving on. This is our car park, As you can see it holds, it does actually hold 4 cars, there's only 3 on there today. This is the bed and breakfast here. So to get to room number 5 you walk up the path, around onto the decking. Heading up to the porch door, up these few steps. I'll just turn around and show you the view from here. So, that's that. See, the sun's come out all of a sudden. So, what you do, you go in the porch. If you're first arriving, you just press this buzzer here, and uh, I would come and answer this door here. But if not, and you've ordered a key safe by any chance, what you do for these, you'd ring us up beforehand if you were arriving late or just say if you didn't want the inconvenience, you didn't know what time you were arriving, you'd ring us up, we'd give you a code. You put your code in here, open the door, your keys would be in there. So from there, put your keys in the door and go into our hallway of the Ivy Mount guest house. So we're looking for room number five. So as we come in the main hall, we have all our cards. Uh, local taxi firms here, Travel by Miles, we use them all the time, they're very good. We have a lot of places to visit here, we have the Trafford Centre, uh, we have a skydiving place. There's a lot of lovely walks around here as well, and we also have the Worsley Village Heritage Trail, which is really good. Get out that type of thing, I love it. So, let's see, we come in the main door, room number five. So it's showing us up here, so we go through into the other house. This is the other hall. The other house, and we go up the stairs. Room number five is situated right at the top of the house, so you've got like four little flights of stairs. You just keep going up, another little flight. Uh, on, on the top floor, you've got five and five A. So if there was two lots of people coming, you could pop, you'd only be used to sharing this actual bathroom. This is the shared bathroom, it's just on the landing before the room. You've got a little deluxe window in there. The shower, it's all brand spanking new, everything in here. Everything you could need. It's all there. So, this is the last flight of stairs, a little few steps up. To room number five. So, from your door of room number five, that's where the bathroom is. Like I say, if it was two lots of people, maybe two couples or something, you could possibly have room five and five A. That would be your bathroom. Nobody else would share that bathroom apart from used to them two rooms. If not, and you're just here, just that one other room would be sharing this bathroom. So let's go into room number five. It's right at the top of the house, got a lovely Velux window, big double bed, which is a sink there, there's tea, there's coffee, there's an iron ironing board. You can say your bed, there's a little table. Little flat screen TV on the wall. I'll show you the view from the window. Like I say, it's the top of the house. Looking down from where I've just been stood. The car park. So, that is room number five.